What's going on guys and welcome back to another Day Shift at Freddy's 2 video. Now in the last video we did the good ending but unfortunately the secret spring trap fight came out and he kind of killed us all and we never freed the children's souls. Well now I'm back on my save again. I've got enough tokens saved up and we are going to be freeing all of the animatronics hopefully. <laughs> I mean no promises but... That's what I'm hoping to do here. But of course, if you guys want to see more of this series, don't forget to drop a like on the video down below. And also comment down below, Bread Bear, if you guys want me to do another video on this series. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. And also, of course, I've got to mention this every video. But if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing here and you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Because we are so close to 700k and I greatly appreciate it. But anyways, let's go ahead and start with Balloon Boy. Because I already have his packet of batteries. So here you go. Let's see. Give batteries. There you go. Here, BB, have some gosh darn batteries. <laughs> Soul releasing laugh. We got him. That's what I'm talking about. BB is free. All right. One soul down. Five more to go. Or four more. I don't really know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and leave this area, though, and uh, get out of here. So we got to leave the arcade. Now we have to go to Matt and get Mangle's instructions. And then we can go ahead and repair that thing and uh, be done with it. I think we also should probably purchase the taser because I think Candy might appear here because this is the day that he likes to appear and gun down the place. <laughs> That's so weird to say. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, let's see. Uh, ask Matt about buying a book about repairing robots. A book all about repairing robots. Yes, that's what I need. 200 tokens. 200? That's it? I thought it was 500. Wow, I have way more tokens no than I needed. what you're on about this time. Here you go, pal. Nice. Okay, we got this it. never happened. Copies. Yep, never happened. I never saw you, ever. Okay. Alright, so that's really surprising. I guess while we're here, since I have extra tokens, I'll buy the taser, just to be safe. Let's take a look at everything else here. Make sure we don't need anything. Uh, hand crank, soda, no. No, no, no. Novelty toy grabber, no. Okay, so it looks like we actually have everything that we need to repair all of them. We got this, guys. We actually got this. All right, so now let's go ahead and head over to camera one, and then we will eventually head over to the animatronics. But first, I'm going to stop at Mangle and try to repair that thing first. All right, so here you go. Mangle should be in, yep, camera six. Here we go. Mangle, there you are, buddy. I'm here to fix you. Okay, interact with the trash pile. And let's see. Uh, pick flashlights out of repair the trash pile. All right, here we go, guys. Let's hope we don't fail this time. Last time we went to repair Mangle, we blew it up. <laughs> so let's not do that this time. Okay, time to do this. I got to free you, Mangle. What's it going to make me do? Oh, nothing. Okay, it's just like a little uh, cutscene thing. Come on, don't blow up. Don't blow up. Oh, my God, we did it. What? The operation was a success. The trash pile's been repaired. I oh have my! Once again, not a trash pile. The Foxy, formerly known as a trash pile. <laughs> we did it. The trash pile is free. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get out of here. We gotta go quick. All right, so we have to go to. I know Freddy's easy. We just gotta hug him. Bonnie's easy. We just have to get his guitar from Withered Bonnie. Chica, we need the password for the computer, which is Foxy Lover One Two Three. I was only putting in Foxy Lover. That's where I was messing up. But now I know what we got to do, and I think we can do it to delete the pictures and free her. All right, so here you go, Toy Freddy. I'm here to give you a hug. Where are you? Spray. Oh, I forgot. Oh, no. Guys, I forgot about this. We have to spray them, too, because I'm also doing Scott's side of things. That new car smell. Yep, there you go. So I think I have to complete both of them. I forgot all about that. And every time you spray them, it takes 15 minutes away. Oh, no. Guys, I hope this doesn't mess us up here. I'm going to save. Kindly. Yep, no problem, Toy Freddy. Toy Freddy is free. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to save after I do these animatronics. And I'm going to hope that we have enough time to do this. Okay, so let's leave the show stage. We got to go to the back now. Actually, I could save now, but no. Wait, where even is the save point? I thought it was right there. Camera 4, isn't it? Yeah, it's camera 4. I'll just save now. Whatever. I don't want to risk anything. Because obviously, if we do, it's going to really suck. Oh, this is perfect, too. We can uh, spray you right now. Spray Funtime Foxy. There we go. Get you working. Spray me hard, harder, daddy. Okay, that's not what I wanted to hear. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, so let's see. Enter the off-camera safe room. And let's go ahead and save our game whenever this loads up. Come on. Dave, don't be in here. Okay, save your game. Perfect. Uh, we'll save on file 14. Sure, why not? All right, leave the safe room. Just in case, I don't want to interact with the other save files just yet until I know, uh, you know, we, we've got this on lock. You know what I'm saying, guys? All right, so now we got to go back to camera nine. Dude, there's so much you got to do on this episode, dude. <laughs> there's so much crap we have to do. Okay, camera nine. Come on, Bonnie. I need that guitar. All right, there he is right there. 
Interact with inspect Bonnie. All right, get up, bro. Give me the guitar back. I know you have it. I know you're willing to give it to us. Um, where is it? Oh, I can give him his face back too. I'll do that quickly just to see if it does anything extra. I have a face now. Yep, no problem. Life is fairly decent now, despite living in an old back room that smells like motor oil and vomit. Don't worry, I'm here for you, bro. All right, so ask Bon Bon about or Bonnie's guitar. Uh, Bonnie, did you steal Toy Bonnie's guitar? You did, didn't you? Please don't hurt me. Yep, I got you. Hand it over. Yes, sir. All right, so we got the guitar. Perfect. It's still only, it's only 2 p.m. still. All right, you're forgiven. Thank. All right, so let's leave the rabbit alone. Quickly head back up to the front and hand Bonnie his guitar back. Nice, dude. We got this. We really do. Oh, my God. Okay, camera two. Let's head back. Um, Bonnie, there you are right there. Give it to Toy Bonnie. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to run out of time. I'm so nervous. All right, uh, give Toy Bonnie his guitar back. Here, Toy Bonnie, have a free guitar. Hand it over. Thank. I no problem. This. Yep, you're free, right? <laughs> yep, there you go. Perfect. Toy Bonnie is free. All right, we did Toy Bonnie. Where is the... Wait, why can't we spray? Oh, I must have sprayed him before. Yeah, I didn't even remember, but I did, I think. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, so now Toy Chica's time. I'm just going to interact with her just to ask, ask her, you know, what we can do just to make sure that it's triggered. Um, so we're okay. Let's spray her first. I think that takes 15 minutes every time. Mascul yep, masculinity. There you go. That's all five toy robots sprayed. Time to return to Mr. Phone Man. Okay, so we got that done. Perfect. All right, so let's ask her how she can be free. My soul cannot rest. On Phone Man's PC, there is a prawn of me, the toy chicken. I need you to sign into his account on the computer and delete the prawn folder. You will need the password. The janitor knows. Please help me be freed. All right, so I will delete that for you. All right, so now let's go do something and quickly head all the way back to where the phone guy is. Now, my other concern here is, because we're heading back to where phone man is, what if he's there in the office? Because he's going to be like, oh, wait, no, I guess I guess we can talk to him and he'll just be like, oh, come come back tomorrow and we'll finish, you know, step two or whatever. So yeah, I think we'll be fine here. I am so ner I don't know why I'm this nervous about this, but I don't want to screw it up because it's like I want to get this other ending. Because like, I know it's going to be awesome. I know it is. But I want to get it. That's the hard part. All right. Come on. Get the camera 13. It's still only 2 p.m., guys. We, oh, my God. We 100% got this. Hurry up, man. Camera 13. Okay, we're here. All right. Now, phone guy, don't. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, use the company. Oh, we can do it without talking to him. Perfect. All right. That's loud. <laughs> All right. So now we just have to get this password right. Okay. If Foxy Lover 123 doesn't work, then I don't know what will <laughs> okay let's see i think you guys said it's all lowercase too so let's see foxy lover where is l at there you go guys we got this so in the bag right now okay one two three one two three okay what how incorrect password what's incorrect about it what did i do wrong oh no oh is it case sensitive i think it might be hold on let's try this again Foxy lover one two three. Okay, I typed it in right. All right, well guys, give me one second. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's not case sensitive, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I figured it out. I looked up some stuff here, and it turns out it's in all caps. Okay, from what you guys are telling me in the comment section. So, Foxy lover, please tell me this will work. Foxy lover one two three. There we go. Yes, we're in. Oh my god, we did it. Okay, so let's see. Phone man's. Oh, here we go. Got it. The prawn folder. Okay, let's see what's inside. There it is. We freaking got it, guys. That is kind of disturbing, but let's... Oh, I... I oh, oh, my. Is this prawn of Toy Chica with Foxy's head badly photoshopped on? Sure looks like it. <laughs> I'm sure there isn't any more. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's more. Holy crap. This photo. Okay, wow. Um. Oh, Lord. No. This one's even worse. I, I can see why Toy Chica couldn't pass on with this on the office PC. I'm deleting the folder. Delete. Oh, we did it. You did it. You deleted the folder. Now Toy Chica can be freed. All right. Uh-oh. Uh, Employee, why are you signed into my account? Why are you, what are you up to? Who gave you that password? Uh, nothing? Uh if you say so, employee, back to work. Wow, he's so kind. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, okay. Toy Chica's free. They're all ready to be freed. Uh, go speak with the marionette. It's time to say goodbye. Oh, yeah, we did it, guys. We freaking did it. Log off. 
logging off. All right, now I do want to talk to Scott real quick, but I don't know if that'll mess it up because I think we need to complete both of their sides. So, no, no, I'm going to talk to the marionette first. Let's see what the marionette says, and then we'll come back to Scott if we can. But if not, well, we're only doing marionette. <laughs> That's our main goal right now, okay? Just to be make the marionette happy, but get everything done correctly too at the same time. So, all right, here we are. Come on, move it out of the way, Matt. I got to talk to the marionette. Let's see. Talk to it. As I told you, we can't talk here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Speak with the happy... Okay, happiest day in the game. Forgot about that. <laughs> he seems so mad about it, too. He was like, as I told you, do not talk to me here. <laughs> All right, bro, I got you. I'm heading back to the happiest day in the game. You don't got to be angry with me. All right, BB, are you here still? Yes, you are. I freed you. Get out of here, bro. All right, so where is it? Happiest day. Time to log in and talk to the puppet. We did it. Oh, there's all the souls. Nice. You're back. Can't you see them? They're here. They're all here. Yes, they are. It's time for us to depart. It's time for our happiest day. We'll see you at the party, friend. We can see. Our, we can say our goodbyes there. It says we can see our goodbyes. We'll never forget what you've done for us. I'll see you then, partner. Oh, we did it. Yes, we did the correct ending. <laughs> Oh, now we just have to get to the end, guys. We freaking did it, though. I am so happy about that. All right, so now we got to go talk to the phone face. And uh, so now we just have to do everything like we did normally. And we should be good to go. Like, literally, we just got to play through the game again, but doing everything Scott said. And this time we got it, though. All right, so camera 13, time to talk to Scott here. And uh, he should say to just come back at the end of the day, I think. So from there, we just got to search around the room a bunch of times until the day's over. All right, so let's ask. Okay, so we're talking about that. I've done it. There we go. Good work, employee. Here's 100 tokens. Hey, that's even better. For now, just finish your shift. I'll talk to you again at the end of the day. All right, I can definitely do that. That'll be definitely super easy. All right, so my thirst for knowledge has been uh, relieved. All right, so let's see. Where can we search? We can't. Can we not search here? Oh, yeah, I guess we can't. All right, well, let's leave here and then go to the, I guess, the prize corner. Oh, I can't write what we can do it at, actually. We don't want to really do any of specific, you know, spot. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to skip past the time here until 6 p.m. Because obviously we have to go all the way to Friday, I think. Oh, no, wait. I think Friday is the last day. So Thursday, like the Friday is the day that we come in after work. So Thursday should be, um, I think, the day that we make the final decisions and stuff like that. All right. So keep searching. We are getting a lot of tokens. I have almost 700. Okay, I have 700 now. We have an insane amount of tokens. I would love to go on like a buying spree and like do all of the side quests because I don't think we've done a lot of them, but I, I want to finish this first and then we'll go back and do that later on. All right, so two more times. We have almost a thousand tokens. Oh my gosh, dude, that's insane. I've never had this many. All right, let's see. Come on, can I get to a thousand? Oh, 90. We're so close. <laughs> all right, well, the day is over. Time to talk to phone face. And we still have to fight the day man again. Oh, wait, no, we have to fight the night man again, too. So that's going to be a little bit of a pain, but it's not the worst thing in the world because we're going to be getting a secret ending, and uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. I know it is. All right, phone face, what do you got to say? Nobody died today. That's good. You managed to spray all the toy robots today. Thank you. You. We've brought ourselves to time to deal with Dave. Oh, we bought ourselves time to deal with Dave. Tomorrow, we'll all discuss our options. Step two of the plan will commence tomorrow. I'm counting on you, employee. Uh, you know? I, I'll i see you tomorrow. Get some rest. You'll need it. All right. Sounds like a plan, phony. I got this in the bag. Today was an interesting day. Phone guy told you this morning that he wanted to work with you today. You accepted his offer, of course. You sprayed all the toy animatronics with aerosol to get rid of the corpse stench. Phone guy really appreciated it. He wants to see you again tomorrow. He has another task for you. Today, you did... You did it. You saved the kids. You worked with the puppet man to make sure the kids get to see their happiest day. You say goodbye to the phone and leave. Tomorrow's another day. Ah, <laughs> yes, I'm so happy to see that. Because last time it said uh, we worked with the puppet, but like we didn't get all of the kids or something like that. And it wasn't their happiest day. And like we failed. But this time, on the other hand, we didn't do it. Or we, we did do it. <laughs> He's in the building. Oh, no. The night man is here. Let's go out and see him. Oh, there's the puppet. Wait, where's the... Wait, has the puppet always been here? Is this new? I don't remember this, but I have a feeling it's probably not new. But I'll follow him anyways. <laughs> Let's just see where he brings us here. Oh, he's going into the Spring Bonnie and Spring uh, Freddy outfit. Oh, yeah, okay, that's not new. I remember that. 
Took a little bit, but you I remembered it. Old sport. <laughs> you can't. I'm so used to the game saying you can't and just that's it, but instead he just adds in old sport. <laughs> it's like, all right. I forgot I'm playing a day shift at Freddy's 2 game. All right, well, we took up all of our save files and we are now on Thursday. Time to get this game done for. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello, uh, phone uh, head. Uh, Employee, wow. Day four. It's great to see you again. I'm really glad that you came back. I didn't have a choice, did I? Uh, uh, Neither do I, to be frank. If you see my plan through to the end, though, I'll gladly tear up your contract and let you go. That's the least uh, I can do. Uh, uh, I have something very important to do later, employee. We both do, but I'll have to save that for closing time. There's a lot on the line, employee. I'm really glad you're still here. Aw, thanks, man. We at Freddy's appreciate your employee. Oh, wait, our employees. Not everyone is able to perform slave labor with a smile on their face. Not enough chill vibes. On to the next announcement. I'm temporarily banning the use of spring lock suits just for today. They need maintenance. Just do whatever you can today. Also... There's kind of a police investigation today. If you haven't been informed yet, please try to try not to incriminate anyone. By anyone, I mean the phone. But of course, uh, I'll talk to you at closing time, employee. I'll tell you what you must do. For today, do whatever you like, within reason that is. All right, so this would be the perfect time to go ahead and do like all the side quests and stuff like that and get everything done that we haven't already done. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save on file 13 and if I ever want to, I'll head back to the save file and I'll do everything. If you guys want me to do that, comment down below file 13. Oh, it's candy. Man in a candy we have the taser, suit. guys. We got this. I work for candy swappers and chips. Home of the Whopper. Yeah, well, you ain't going to be doing anything here. I will shoot up this restaurant for entering in on candy's territory. Oh. Aaron snack bar. Good luck with that, bro. It's not going to work out. Employee, he's going to shoot up the restaurant. Do something. All right, well, Tate's is suited up a hole. Let's get him. And we have defeated Candy. Help. Yes. Gain. Suffering. Electrical trauma. Vast discomfort. Gain. Vast discomfort. No oh God. End the pain. Nope. Goodbye, Candy. <laughs> we get. We defeated Candy. Uh oh. You are coming with us, Sugar. Oh, he better be talking to, to Candy. The electric chair with you. Ironically enough. Oh gosh, what the heck? I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for that orange that with the fucking taser. Yeah, get out of here, bro. We defeated Candy, yes! Well, we are just getting everything done in this video. <laughs> Alright, good job on stopping that shooting employee. Here's 500 tokens for being a freaking legend. Oh my gosh. See you, employee. And remember, customers generally dislike being shot at. I don't know what that... Okay, sure. <laughs> so we did it, and we have almost 1,500 tokens. That is actually insane. We're about to pass 1,500 right now. Let's see. Come on. Oh, come on. I need to, I need to just get to 1,500. Well, then again, I need to search around anyways, because we're just kind of beat this day so that we can uh, go ahead and, you know, do the happiest day, you know, ending. But, uh, yeah, we're almost at 2 p.m. So once we get to that 6, we just got to talk to phone face. Wow, I'm getting so unlucky right now. I haven't found anything. And like three searches. Okay, there we go. Eleven. <laughs> That's like nothing, but I'm bad. It's better than nothing, so I'm okay with it. And we passed fifteen hundred. Almost at sixteen hundred. I mean, the only thing we really need to buy now would be like the fireworks, and that's really it. You know, let, wait. Let's go to Matt real quick. Let's just buy his entire store out so that we just, we just have everything that we need. Well, then again, there's probably like side quests where like you have to buy stuff from other people, but whatever. Let's uh let's buy a sturdy hand crank. Sure, why not? Uh, guitar? Yeah, I'd like a guitar. A microphone? Sure. <laughs> We're just able to buy everything. Oh my gosh, we have so much crap. Uh, another taser. I don't know why we would need one, but sure. Oh, I didn't. I thought it took away our old one, so I just was gonna buy one just to be safe, but apparently not. All right, so yeah, we bought everything, and now we're broke. <laughs> That's fun. Sure, why not? There was really no point to that, but all right. Oh, I just realized we didn't. We, we didn't. We can't buy the fireworks now because I kind of blew all of our money, but eh. I still don't know what we need them for. If you guys could comment down below, just comment like fireworks and then tell me what we need them for so I can kind of see it so it sticks out. But yeah, I mean, if you guys tell me it's something like really cool, I'll go back and do it. Cause obviously I just saved where we had like 900 tokens. So we can still hundred percent do it and get it done. All right, so search two more times and then we get to talk to phone face and then we go into the final day 
and do the happiest day ending, which is going to be insane. Because from what I like, from what you guys are telling me in the comments section down below, apparently we go back to Spring Chap and, and we fight him again or something like that. Can't remember. Like, I think the kids help us. I don't know. It's going to be crazy, though. 6 p.m. On to the final day. I can't really remember. Oh, this is what we got. I forgot. We got to work with Phone Guy to uh, rig up the suit. Well, today's over. I'm glad. This week seems like it's never going to end. Congrats. Your journey is almost at an end. As is mine. All right. What did you mean by that? I, uh, nothing. Nothing suspicious at all. I'm going to miss you, employee. Uh, you know? At the end of this week, this place is being shut down indefinitely. Your contract's being retired, meaning you'll never have to work at Freddy's again. Uh, uh, your journey's coming to an end. Minutes ago, I just filled out your final report. Oh, okay. Uh, I rated your performance putting down exceeded all expectations. Never shirked responsibility. Or made me regret hiring him. Fusion performed all actions admirably. In a lot of ways, he's the true, true face of Freddy Fazbender's pizza. Uh, uh, I'm gonna miss you, Fusion. I, I see. We're, we're finishing up on good terms. Us phone men only get one gig, and we're expected to pull it off without a hitch. If the restaurant we're running gets shut down, we tend not to get reused, if you catch my drift. But they reuse robots, though. I guess they figure that the robots are more valuable than the people they're operating. It's a shame that I've, I have to return to the factory, but so did my predecessor back in Colorado. We all do, in the end. Anyway, I'm glad that I got to spend time here with you. Employee... I need to ask one last favor of you. It's a big one. And I won't... No. Can't judge you for refusing. What's the favor? Come with me, employee. To the safe room. So wait, I forgot. What if we refuse this? Like, what happens then? Hmm. I would like to see what happens here. Employee, I have to ask you for something. We need to talk about the next plan for my master plan. Oh, the next part of my master plan. Specifically, you're part of it. I know the perfect way to stop Tave, employee. I understand if you have to refuse. Uh, you know? I've tried firing him, getting him arrested. The company has tried sending him to Vegas with a brick of cocaine, hoping he'd overdose. We even tried to crucify him at one point. Uh, uh, no matter what, he comes back. He always comes back. Wait, you tried to crucify Dave? No, just go on. <laughs> There's one thing I haven't tried, and it's slightly uh, malicious. Uh, if Dave can't help himself and keeps coming back, why not ensure that he won't ever leave again? Dave can't come back if he never leaves here. Are you implying... Uh, uh, employee, every single time he comes back, there's a pattern, see? Dave has two vices here. Kidnapping children and wearing mascot suits. We can use this to our advantage, though. He always gets a job here, puts on a mascot costume, usually a yellow one, and then lures some kids off. He can't help himself, employee. No, no. This time, we're going to be smarter than Dave. We're going to get... We're going to set a trap. A spring trap, if you will. Oh, no. Are you, sp are you saying... Yes, employee. It's the second part of my holly jolly three-step plan. I call it Operation Spring Trap. Essentially, we're going to trick Dave into using a spring suit rig to kill him. Then, we'll seal him away forever. I just need someone to help rig it. I can risk it myself, but I might screw it up. Dave's survived failures before. He's a slippery guy. But, what if we greased up every single spring lock in his suit? He'd be mincemeat. Oh, that's... Wow. It's a lot to take in, I know. But, trust me, we've tried everything else. This is all we have left. Employee, I need to ask you a favor. You're a suited performer, and you've been one for a long time. I want you to rig Dave's suit to fail on him, basically by greasing up every spring lock. I'd get my arm maimed in that suit if I tried to rig that thing, in all honesty. Employee, I know this is a tall order to fill, but could you please do this for me? I'd pay you well. I'll do it. Dave's as good as dead. All right, we did it. That That's great. Employee, you've made the right choice. We can finally make Freddy's new again. This is something we've got to do. It's fine, I understand. Uh, you know? The ends justify the means, employee. I'm going to stay back and talk with you while you work on the suit. For now, let's just get working. All right, guys, we did it. We freaking are rigging up the suit right now. Several hours later, there's the suit. All right, phony, where are you? <laughs> there he is. Uh How's the suit coming along, employee? Fine, I'm actually trained a trained technician. Uh, huh. That must be coming in handy right now. Spring locks are complicated stuff. Oh, wait. Do you know what a spring lock failure actually feels like? Uh, short story, yes, I narrowly survived. Uh, uh, wait, you worked back in Fredbear's? I guess my memory core really is faulty. I was a night guard. 
I worked there every night from 12 to 6. One night, I was caught off guard. They dragged me back through the empty diner. They had a suit prepared for me, a yellow one. They stuffed me inside. I tried my hardest not to struggle in that suit. I knew what would happen if the spring locks came loose. I couldn't control my breathing, though. The spring locks came loose with me inside the suit. I tried to scream out, but I couldn't. The sharp metal and plastic tore my vocal cords. I tried to move, but couldn't. Every movement dug jagged metal into my flesh. I lay in that back room for what seemed like days. Oh my lord, that's horrible. Didn't anyone find you back there? Yes. Henry Miller did, the former co-owner of Fred Bears. The day after, I saw him enter the room. I could see him lurking in the room. Just beyond the eye holes of the suit. He was holding something. I couldn't make out what it was. I found out later from the police. He stuffed it into one of the spare suits. After he stuffed it in, he, lo he, lo he lingered back there. At one point, he looked right at me. He knew. He knew I was in there. He chuckled to himself and left the room. He left me in there. I lay in that suit for what felt like days. I'm pretty sure I died in that suit. This is making me uncomfortable. I'll end the story here. Wow. I can't believe you're still here. Why do you keep coming back? I always come back. You should sue the company for damaged mine. Sounds like you need that money. Uh, so, employee, do you have a family waiting for you at home? Uh, yeah, I have a loving family. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Get, gets you through the day, eh? I actually have a family, too, believe it or not. I swear, the only thing that gets me through the day, knowing that I'll get to see them again, my family. Would you like to see a picture of them? Sure, lay it on me. <laughs> this freaking picture, man. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> What do you think, employee? Are you, aren't, aren't we such a happy family? Phony. Something's off in that photo. Uh, uh, what? What are you talking about? Uh, your head. That's not you. That ain't you. That color. That's Colorado phone guy. Uh, uh, employee, please. This is all I have. Please don't take this away from me. I'm sorry. It's a lovely photo. Uh, uh, sure, sure. So, uh, <clears throat> how's the suit coming along? I think the suit's just about done. That's great, employee. You've done more than for me than I could have ever thought possible. I really appreciate it, employee. Go home and get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow, Fusion. Alright, so it's now time to do the final part of the game. The finale of the game, guys. Today was quite, quite enough. You saved the kids yesterday. You worked with Puppet Man to make sure the kids get to see their happiest day. They are ready to ascend. Phone guy asked you to rig the spring bonnie suit to fail with Dave inside. You agree to help him and rigged it to fail with Dave inside. You say goodbye to the phone and leave. He hugs you on the way out. Tomorrow's another day. Yes, guys, we got it. Okay, I'm going to save on... Holy dude, we have so many saves. I don't even know where most of these start from anymore. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I guess we could save uh, here. I think 305 would be this save because it's the same, like point that we were at at the other one so we'll, we'll override it hopefully we're not screwing ourselves up by <laughs> overriding a bunch of saves that i really needed but i guess we'll find out all right so now we just have to fight the nightman and uh should be pretty simple here all right so let's see here i gotta go and get the suit yep there they are there's my hat too so i think the suit itself is down here if i'm not mistaken i'm getting really good at this game <laughs> like i've been playing it so much man i i've just like i've been learning everything but I, I still don't know where this suit is, <laughs> to be honest. But everything else, I've been, uh, been getting pretty good at it. I speed run the game. <laughs> can you even speed, speed run a game like this? I feel like you can't, but... I mean, I guess you could. You can speed run kind of anything if you're just fast enough. Alright, where is this suit at? I don't even know. I think it might be in the bathroom, I feel like. But I'll check down here just to be safe. I don't want to miss out on it. Check down here. Oh, there we go. Alright, we are now the day man. You are ready to fight the Nightman. All right, now we gotta head back up, fight him real quick, and then go on to the final day and be done with it. I've been expecting you, Withered Freddy. I'm not Withered anymore. I am the Banisher of Darkness, the Ruler of Light, the Master of Karate and Friendship for everyone. I once was a bear robot, but now I'm a man. 
I am the day man. Whatever, bitch. Let's rumble. All right, time to fight him. Nightman emerged. As the day man, you have access to light based spells to use against the nightman. All right, so we should be able to take this guy out pretty quickly here. Uh, we're gonna use pure light on him a few times and eventually he'll go down. All right, so let's hit him with another pure light here. Get that damage in. There we go, 169, not bad. Yep, darkness, so what? That's not even that scary. <laughs> pure light again. Come on, go down, man. Oh, we missed, no, that's never good. Oh, he did 191. So we're gonna need to heal once in this fight, if I remember correctly, because we heal for 1,000 HP, so. Yeah, this fight should go down pretty simply here. Come on, 243. Dang, he did that to me. Oh, no. All right, let's heal. And I think after we, after we heal, we hit him two more times, and he goes down. Maybe even one more. Can't, rem can't really remember. All right, so fight. Pure light. Get him on the night, man. There we go. Got him. All right, 183. Not bad. And we took 214. All right, I think this is the final hit right here, guys. Come on. I don't know, because we missed a, a hit, so. Yep, it didn't take him down. All right, whatever. We can hit him one more time before we have to heal. Hit him with the pure light one more time. Come on. Get this up. The final blow. Come on. Oh, we missed. No, that's not good. Oh, we evaded it. Okay, perfect. All right, so this should get him. Do not miss this hit right here, Freddy. There we go. Nightman is slain. Freddy slash Dayman was victorious. No, I have been defeated. Get out of here, you sack of shit. <laughs> He just blows up. I love that part. And there's Chica, With Freddy's friend, apparent lover. Love. You once were a bear robot, but now you're a man. Well, naturally. I am the banisher of darkness, the ruler of light, the master of karate and friendship for everyone. I am the day man. Okay, <laughs> so we got that done. That's good, I guess. That part is always so weird. I'm going to save on the file that we just saved on because obviously nothing really that important happened there. <laughs> nothing game-changing, that is. All right, so now we got to go to sleep and see the crossroad here. So, yep, this is desolate. Uh, home sweet home. It's very late. It's time for you to go get some shut eye, I reckon. All right, so this is the part that we see the crossroads, and we got to make a decision here. I like how in our pictures, we just have pictures of us in a springlock suit and some random dude on the wall. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, time to get some shut-eye. Phony wants you to be on, on time tomorrow, so you should set your alarm clock. Ah, perfect. Good night, Fusion. So, guys, if you, if you haven't already been able to tell, this is going to be a pretty long video because we still have to do the final day, and we're about 34 minutes in. <laughs> so... This is going to be a pretty long video. Huh. How did you switch off your alarm clock from your bed? I mean, are you made of elastic or... Eh, forget it. Good morning, Fusion. Time to go put on five pounds of orange makeup. That'll kill a few hours. <laughs> he actually does that, too. It's kind of sad, man. You arrived to work on time hours later. It is now noon. Time to start your day. Fusion, you're back. I knew you would be. You always come back, don't you? I wouldn't have missed today for the world. I'm glad you could join me. David's in the building employee. He's in the safe room, getting suited up for the show. I need you to go get suited up too. He'll know something's up if he's the only one performing. Don't worry, your suit wasn't touched. I checked this morning. It's no more dangerous than it normally is. Gee, thanks, man. To get, go get suited up. There's a good, there's a good chap. Oh my god, the stuff he says is just so random. There's a good chap. Oh, there's Dave. <laughs> Why is he looking around Why, like hello that? Hello there, old sport. Hello, Dave. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Oh, sup, Dave. You know, old sport. I'm surprised. In Colorado. You refuse to take a side. It seems that you've made a definite choice this time. I can't respect that, I suppose. Even if I'm slightly mad that you rejected me. I'm a man of principle myself. You murder kids, you sicko. I didn't say they were good principles. 
Did I now? Never thought you wouldn't have taken a liking. Too phony. Oh, he's a man. The epitome of corporate greed. He was created to fill a purpose. Nothing more. He trapped kids. Oh, he's trapped like us. He can't leave either. You think he's trapped? He's part of this place. Don't you see? Wait. Do you think he's a human? You really do. Don't you? Newsflash. Humans don't have phones for heads. Well, humans aren't purple either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't have purple skin either. <laughs> and as if your skin color is natural. Yeah, then I get I'm orange. <laughs> orange. I'm a critical orange. We could have been so good together, old sport. What? You've chosen your path, and I've chosen mine. Here, old sport. Let's enjoy our last dance together. I'll help you get suited up. All right, so we're suited up now. You look magnificent, old sport. I almost wish we could have worked things out. With the child murder murderer, as Go if. Out there and perform. I'll follow you out. All right, time to get this done, guys. We are now performing in front of kids. There's phone guy. And there's the purple well, man himself. Old sport. Oh, hey, Dave. Uh, whatever. Start dancing, Dave. Wait a second. The inside of the suit feels fairly slippery. You stuck with my suit, old sport. You stuck with my suit. <laughs> oh, wait. We sure did, Dave. Greased up every spring lock in the dang suit. Oh, really? I feel as though death may be imminent. Believing, believing, pain, fast discomfort, pain, fast discomfort. Oh God, I'd feel my heart being torn apart if I had one. Yep, now you feel what Jimbo went through. Ouch, that's smart. Uh, uh, Employee, let's take him to the safe room. Oh, and away from the kids. All right, we did it. There he is. Wow, Dave, that doesn't look very comfortable. I've never felt better, old sport. Can't someone please give me a cigarette? I'd light one myself, but my arms are being stabbed painfully by a tiny metal stinks. Uh, uh. Come on, Fusion. I need to speak to you. Just outside. Alright, so now it's time to lock him away and him becoming Springtrap. Fusion, we did it! Operation Springtrap has been realized. Dave is slowly dying inside Springtrap. There's only one thing for us to do now. I happen to know a contractor named, da uh, named Thor. He's a builder, and he's built quite a few locations. He also seals things away. He's fast and discreet. He's the guy we hired to seal off the safe room back in Colorado, you know. We're going to go back into that safe room and lie to Dave. We're not going to tell him that he's being sealed off there. We're not going to tell him that he's dying in there. All right? Got it. Good man. Okay. Let's go lie to that zombie bunny eggplant. What does that mean? I guess it makes sense. Zombie bunny eggplant. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, uh, Jeebus heck in Christ, though. I can see your organs. How on earth did you decompose that fast? We were out of the room for like 30 seconds. It sure is damp in here, old sport. Uh, you know? I swear, Dave, I hope you're in so much pain right now. Go fuck yourself, Oni. <laughs> I feel like God himself has kicked me in the testicles. Looks like he has. Dave, you're an a-hole. You oh, God. Old sport. I'll shag you, man. <laughs> How on uh, earth? Uh, Dave, we're going to go and get help. I need you to sit here for about six hours. Can you do that for us? I guess. It's not like I could move if I wanted to. I mean, there's tiny metal spikes digging into every one of my fucking limbs. Uh, Good. Uh, Fusion, come with me. All right, so we have locked away Dave, or so we think. Uh, Here we are, Fusion. It's time to, it's the end of the road. It's time to retire your contract. Yeah, tear it in half. Here it is, the red contract. Three people have signed this contract in the history of Freddy's. First, the original Scott Cawthon, then Dave, and then you. Bono, forgive me for what I'm about to do. All right, well, we are freed now. Just like the kids. <laughs> Employee, your contract has been completely destroyed. You are now free to leave. Your hat is hanging on the hat rack. I even mailed you a gift basket to thank you for your work. 
I left it on your doorstep. Fusion, it's been an absolute pleasure. Feel free to come in tomorrow if you so wish. It is Freddy's last day, of course. But please, no, it won't be as a worker. You're free now. You never have to step foot in here again if you don't wish to. I'd like that. I'll see you tomorrow. Feel free to come in if you'd like. Goodbye, Fusion. Thanks for everything. All right, it's time to do the finale, guys. It is time to see the... Probably, what I'm guessing is the children are going to help us fight Springtrap. Because last time, he kind of just gunned us all down and we died. But I'm hoping that this time, they'll, like, come out and lock him away forever. Or something cool like that. <laughs> I don't know. It'll probably be something dumb, but uh, it's funny at the same time. You and Foam Man ended up staying later than planned, despite already saying goodbye. You two talked about families working at Freddy's. The both of you even roasted some marshmallows. You two shared a genuine connection, and it became apparent that to you that Dave was quite wrong about Phony. Human or not, Phone Guy has feelings, hopes, dreams, and memories, and aspirations to get the heck away from Freddy Fazbender's. Phony's the closest thing to a person you've seen all week at Freddy's. Once the clock turned over to 6 p.m., Fusion... You took his hat and left Freddy's, now a free man. Oh, Fusion took his hat. Fusion and Phony shared a hug. Fusion said goodbye to Scott and left. Tomorrow is a new day, and it has giant bright yellow text. Perfect. We got it, guys. We have it this time. All right. Well, I clicked save, and it it's a black screen. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Wait, did I? I might have just clicked no on accident. Oh, I did. Okay. Whew. I thought... I thought the game like froze or something. I was gonna be so sad. Can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. Oh, this is when the puppet talks to us. It's me I'm sorry that we had to stuff you It's just how things are around here You know Many of us weren't always robots. Some of us were once children, but I'm sure you already knew that This diner is a hive of sin and corruption and it's spreading to the other children's restaurant, too. Many children have lost their lives here. That spring bunny suit over there has a dead child in it. You're like them now. Dead. Your soul has left your body. Now, you're an empty shell. A husk. But I need something from you. We're robots. We can kill William and Henry, but it isn't enough. Killing those two murderers won't free the children's souls. The souls are misguided. Revenge can't free them. Revenge will just lead to more innocent people dying, like you did. What those souls need is the party they never got to have, their happiest day, which I did. A large yellow bear robot can or can't organize a birthday party. We need a human. And an adult who's willing to help us. If you wish to help us, I can give you life again. I can make your corpse live again. Yeah, and orange. <laughs> and a five pounds of makeup every day. It won't be easy, and it won't be pretty. I can make your body live again, but I can't ever put your soul back in your body. You'll have to put on pounds of makeup every single morning, so people won't be able to see your scars, your rotting skin. Your body will begin to rot, and you'll no longer resemble a person anymore. But people won't consider you as human either. You'll be one of us. But don't stop. Don't ever stop. They must see their happiest day. You're the only person capable of saving them. Get as many different jobs as you can. Change your name constantly. Never stop moving. Never stop coming back. You must always come back. Do good. Show the children kindness and give them the party that they never got to have. Once I give you life, you won't be able to stop until you're free. Unless you free everyone who's waiting to be freed. Which I did. Well, I did five of them. That counts, right? <laughs> Can you do this for us? I need you to promise that you'll save everyone. Please. Make the world brand new. I promise so we actually did it this time last time we promised and we never did it <laughs> but this time we actually did it nice thank you good luck night guard all right well 
it's time to do the final day. Rise. And we creepily <laughs> crawl out of our suit and out of there. It's so disturbing. There we go. Off to our crappy house. And now it's time to go to the crossroads and then head back into Freddy's for one last show. All right, so let's save on file. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, let's save at the beginning of the game. We don't really need to go back there, you figure. Unless it's like something really drastic, but I think we'll be good. Bye now with a doggo and our exotic butters on the top. Well, this is desolate. Hey, at least we have exotic butters. At least you got your free company gift basket, eh? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Boy, those butters sure look exotic, don't they? Free? I earned every stick of that butter. It's very late. It's time for you to get some shut-eye, I reckon. Alright. It's time to beat the game, guys. Come on, go to sleep quick. <laughs> we gotta see what happens tomorrow. Alright, set your alarm. There we go. Time to wake up at, what, 7.43, I think it is? Good boy. Good night, Fusion. All right, on to the crossroads where we are going to say yes, we are going back in for another day. But I do want to see what happens if we say no. You're at a crossroads now. Phone guy gave you the opportunity to return to Freddy's tomorrow as a guest. It's your choice whether or not you will attend the party tomorrow. You must if you wish for the children to see their happiest day. Oh, okay, so we have to then. Now, it's time to make your choice. Will you go? Of course, we didn't just go through all that to say no. <laughs> I will attend the final day. Good choice. Sweet dreams, Fusion. All right, it is time. We're almost at an hour of recording. Holy crap, we've done so much though in this video. <laughs> it is now time to go back in and fight Springtrap. Or at least the children will, hopefully. Oh, I got it right, 743. <laughs> Good morning, Fusion. Up and at him. It's time to go see Mr. Cawthon. There's a party today, and you've been invited. This is perfect. You arrived at Freddy's hours later. It's now 2 p.m. Time to see Scott. Fusion, you made it. I'm so glad to see you again. How are you doing on this fine winter afternoon? Can't complain, can't uh, complain. No. Today's been busy enough, you know. First day we've had free of Dave, huh? Uh, uh, but hey, today, you're my guest. Why don't we go and have some fun, eh? I'd like that, sir. Uh, whatever. Oh, there's no need to be formal, Fusion. Call me Scott. Got it, Scott. Uh, you know. Come on, let's go have some fun. After you, Fusion. Alright, it's time, guys. Several hours of fun later. I wonder if he's still going to get, like, hit or shot, oh, whatever, wait. by Springtrap. So then I said to him, keep the pencil topper. I'm never going to need that dolphin semen back anyway. That's the greatest story I've ever heard. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. I try. I try. I'm here all night, folks. <laughs> all right, you're only talking to me, buddy. I'm here for eternity. Uh, uh, I've been thinking, Fusion. Now that you finish your shift here at Freddy's, where are you going to go now? I'll probably get a job at another Freddy location. Uh, uh, Wh what? You're just going to go and get a job at another Freddy's location? So, uh, I swear, Fusion. I'll never understand that. You're finally free after a year of slavery, and you just come back willingly? Uh, the other locations aren't any better, you know. They're just uh, like this one. Uh, uh, sure, the robots may be a little different in every joint, but no matter what, you'll see death. Uh, dead night guards? Dead children? You'll see the same excuses each and every time. More managers. Who are all just like me. Uh, you know. For the first time, there's nothing forcing you to come back to Freddy's. Why don't you just run and never come back? I would. I don't have anywhere else to go. Uh, oh, Fusion. These things happen I'm so sorry. I sometimes forget that you're so lonely. Um, uh, you, know, you know, I can see it in your eyes. Even when you're in a suit, I can see it. There's something about the way that you stand. When you stand by yourself, you look like the loneliest creature on Earth. So, uh, anyway, I... Oh, there's Springtrap. Uh, what the heck was that? Baby's back, baby. 
Oh. Oh no. He's got handguns. Save trash. What's wrong, old sport? You look like you see him as him. Is something the matter? Old face. Uh. No, I. Uh. No. Uh, hey, Dave. I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, is that so? You sure tried checking behind the three fourth walls you built around my doorway. If I didn't know better, I swear that you were trying to get rid of me. Oh, sport, you're a cocksucker. What? I'll deal with you later. All right, so this oh, is where he should save I've us. I've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> I call this little party trick. The Bible 87. Alright, where are the children at? Not so fast. Whoa, who's that? Who the fuck? Oh, it's Fred Bear! Oh my gosh, Fred Bear saves us I from Springtrap. The real Fred Bear. Well, look who it is. Fred Bear. It's been a while, hasn't it? Don't Fred Bear me. Afton. Fred Bear. Don't call me that in front of old sport. You have a lot of crimes to answer for. Name one. Theft, child murder, child exploitation, identity fraud and tip fraud, to name a few. Name another one. <laughs> what the you hell? held up a convenience store and then shot a man. Damn, you're good. Best time. <laughs> what? Good. You ain't invincible. Oh crap! We gotta fight him. Dave Trap emerged. I'm All right. here to stop you, Afton. We've already destroyed Henry, and we're here for you too. You're right, Ent's here. Bring it on, bad brain. I will tear your ears off, you green murderous. Zombified rabbit man. Tip, stay alive. Okay, uh, what do we do? Smack, I guess? Uh, Dave took no damage. What? We take no- he takes no damage. What do we do? Take this. Use control. What the? Click to show spring locks. Okay, then? Thank you. Okay, that did nothing to him. He's taking no damage at all. Uh, smack him again. Oh, okay, I get this. This is one of those fights, like in Final Fantasy, you just have to survive until something Hold happens. On just a minute. Or like Undertale. Alright, zero damage. Come on, we need the children to help us. I think that's our only hope here. Took no damage. Okay, we evaded the attack. Nice. Let's heal. Let's see how much we can heal for. Sucker punch. What? He sucker punches as we were healing. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Let's keep healing. We've got to survive, I think. Not bad. Uh, let's heal again. No, I don't want to do that. Heal. Okay, nice 350. He smacked again, 287. He's doing more and more damage here, guys. This is not good. Heal again. We're back up to 1,000. I'm going to go for the smack here, see if it does anything. What is happening? Cl click to show spring locks. Yeah, take a look at those, buddy. You like that, huh? I'm gone. Nice. Okay, so let's keep smacking him again. No damage, of course. Oh my god, he did a lot of damage right there. Okay, we gotta heal. Come on, get that heal in. 350. Oh my god, he's doing so much damage. We gotta keep healing. We gotta get out of that that low numbers. Come on, heal again. This is getting difficult. Alright, no damage, no surprise. Heal again. Oh, he kicked us. Okay, that's not good. Oh my god, dude, he's destroying us right now. Let's smack him. Zero. Oh, he evaded it. Oh my god, 291. Let's go for one more smack on him, then we gotta heal. Oh, do we do it? Fredbear's learned how to do the bite of 87. What? We can do the bite of 87 now. Okay, guys, it's time to do it. Bites. Bite of 87. Dave Trap. Oh my gosh, that's like in the built trillions? I don't know. The real Fred Bear was victorious. We did it! Oh my gosh. We defeated Springtrap. 
Any last word after? Yeah, just one. Facts. Facts? Like Fox? <laughs> what does that even mean? All right, well, we defeated him, guys, with Fredbear of all people. How cool is that? Okay, wow, you're really close. From the bottom of my bare heart, I would like to thank you for never forgetting your promise to me. But there isn't much time. You need to go now. You have the happiest day to catch. All right, we are freed. Uh, you know. Go, Fusion. I'll... I'll be fine. Please. Just go. Goodbye, Orange Man. Goodbye, Fredbear. Thanks for giving me life. Oh, so it was him, not the marionette. Interesting. Alright, well, guys, we have done the good ending. We still need to do the happiest day, though, whatever that means. Oh, here we are, with the puppet. Fusion! I didn't think that you'd make it. With all the action that was happening at Freddy's. Oh, you didn't think you would help, huh? <laughs> I'm here, and I'm in one piece. We're so glad. Please, come with me. It's time for their happiest day. We wouldn't want, to want you to, for you to miss it. I'm ready. Thanks for not forgetting about me. Let's go. We can't keep them waiting. The crowd is beginning to grow restless. Forget you? You're the reason I'm here. I know, Fusion. You're a good guy. Follow me. Alright, time to see the happiest day. Oh boy. <laughs> it's so incredible that we made it all the way through this. Oh, there they are. I thank you for all your patience. We've been waiting for this day for many years. Today, a vast evil has purged from this world, has been purged. William Afton, our immortal nemesis, has met his timely and final demise. No more people have to die. Oh, is that an entire crowd of them down there? Holy! Today is truly a, a momentous day. Freddy's has been crippled, and the brand has been destroyed. In the coming years, the final locations will be boarded up and closed down. A heaven of death has been destroyed. No more children will lie. Oh, will die. I can hang up my mask and leave this realm. My work here is done. But that isn't all. There's a reason why we're all here. We're all here today because of one person and one person only. And he's standing on the stage next to me. Some of you may remember seeing his, th this face before. Some of you may not. But I guarantee you, you all have. This is Fusion, everyone. But... That isn't his real name. Like ours, his name, his real name was lost years ago. He became a number, just like us. One, two, three, four, five. A single digit for the body count. But Fusion was different. As he lay, dead in his suit, he heard a voice. That voice belonged to Fredbear. Fusion made a promise to free every dang one of us. And he wouldn't give up. He couldn't give up. He came back, time and time again. He always does. He changed his appearance. He changed his name. He never stopped coming back. Every one of us owes our, all, our afterlives to the man on this stage. In a company of murderers, thieves, and Henry. One man shone above the rest. You see, we're all just children who have been forced to take our roles. We're not robotic foxes or springlock bears. We never were. We're just kids. We couldn't organize this on our own. We needed an adult. We need someone who could, who could right all of our wrongs that were keeping us bound to Freddy's. Oh, all of the wrongs. And Fusion pressed on, soulless. He fixed everything that was wrong with Freddy's. He fixed all of us, even if we couldn't fix himself, or even if he couldn't fix himself. He's more broken than anyone else here, and yet he stands, just like us. Thank you, Fusion. Oh, they all clap. Ghostly claps. <laughs> I don't know how ghosts clap, but I guess that's what they do. There's just one last thing we need, Fusion. That's the only you can give us. That only you can give us. Since you're not only an adult, but also a company insider. Please, do the honors. What are we going to do? On behalf of Fazbear Entertainment, we're sorry. We're sorry that we were the reason that none of you got to grow up. That none of you got to return home. And that your parents 
Never got to find out what you all became. And I'm sorry that I had to be, be a part in all of this. For that, we're sincerely sorry. All right, there's their heads. You're better than the whole rotten bunch of them put together, old sport. We won't ever forget you, Fusion. It's time for us to go. Every one of you guys, Foxies, Chicas, and Bonnies too, all of you, from Washington to Texas, it's time to leave this realm. Fusion, we wish that you could follow us, but we're going to a place where only souls can go. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to leave you here. Wow, that's so sad. I understand. It's like they're all my friends. They're all just leaving me. Goodbye, puppet. They're all going to be happy and he's just going to stay sad forever. That is so depressing. Oh, they hug. They hugged it out. All right. Goodbye, Fusion. And thank you for everything. Come on, everyone. Tomorrow, the world begins something. <laughs> I accidentally skipped it. I think he said the world begins now, maybe? And they all leave, and all that's left is just the mask. That is so depressing, though, for Orange Guy. That is terrible. <laughs> like, they're, they're all free, I get that, but... He's just stuck here now to be alone forever. Like, literally forever. I don't think he'll ever die. That is pretty sad. Alright, see what happens when we leave now. The end. Oh, so we actually got the ending. Like, just the actual ending for the game. Wow. Okay, so we still didn't get the perfect ending, though. We have to get that. Alright, well, guys, we did it. I'm curious if we go back, and instead of heading back there, we just stay there, and we don't actually head there and free them. This is the true ending of the game. There are many other whimsical and entertaining endings, but... I think that this is the nice, a nice note to end on. Developing Day Shift at Freddy's was quite the experience, and I won't soon forget it. Thanks for sitting with me till the end of the ride. All right. And there is a giant wall of people. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of characters. Well, guys, we got it. We got the actual ending. We still have to get the perfect ending, though, but I don't know how to get that. Thank you. Wow, that took an hour, over an hour to do that. <laughs> Definitely probably the longest video on my channel, I feel like. But it was worth it because we did a lot of stuff in this video. And we completed everything, really. Well, that we had to complete in this video. Oh, we never saw that rat trap back there on the left. We never saw that. Or we never saw the crow in the back either. So there's like a few things that we obviously haven't done. but And the doggo with a waffle in his mouth. We never saw that either. Huh. See you around, old sports. Direct doggo. Alright, so I'm going to continue one more time. I want to see what happens if this is the save file. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're going to do one more thing in this video. We're going to, at the crossroads, we're going to say we're not going back. And we're going to see what happens here. And uh, hope that something cool happens and not the same en ending that we got in the previous video. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and skip past all of this. Nothing that we really need to see or talk about. Because obviously we've done it three times now. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's doing this glitch again where we have the doggo stuck on our screen. It's time to set the alarm. And it's nighttime, too. What the heck? Good boy. Good night, Fusion. Oh, that's a weird glitch. <laughs> All right. So time to go to the crossroads and say no. It better not be like a super long ending because this video is already long as it is. All right. Phone guy gave you the opportunity. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Return as a guest. We're not going to do it, though. You must if you want to free the children. Well, we're not going to be freeing them. Now, it's time to make your choice. Will you go? Nope, we will not. Now I'm done with Freddy's. Do you really believe that? That isn't fair to the end, to end it here, of all places. I've earned this, by God. Or scratch that, I'll go in tomorrow, attend the final day. Nope, I've earned it. If you say so, Fusion, sweet dreams. I'm guessing it's going to be the same ending that we got yesterday for doing this, which I can't remember exactly what it was. Okay, uh... Doggo, I remember this, and it just, like, says random stuff to us, but I don't remember how it ends. Okay, yep, that that's great. I totally know what you're saying right now. Thank you for showing up in my place of living. <laughs> what is he saying? I wish it, it was, like, backwards or something that we'd actually understand, but it's just literally, like, jumbled up letters. 
Like I L Q H. What word has a Q H and an I and an L in it? I don't think anything does. All right, so we did that. Let's see what happens now. Oh, abandoned ending. Okay, yeah, so we got that yesterday. Well, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. An hour and six minutes, even though I got a few parts to cut, cut out, but definitely over an hour video that we did today. So if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on the video down below. And like I said, for if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because there's gonna be a lot of content, especially this month. There's so many fan games coming out. Like you guys would not believe it. It's it's literally packed with fan games. Um, so be ready for that. But if you made it all the way to the end, which I feel like a lot of people didn't, because that's an hour. It's like you just watched like a movie or something. Comment down below movie <laughs> but i'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys